So I've had some people complain about some of the content on my channel because they claim that it's not computer software related, uh, excluding the candle stuff. And uh, I just want to show you this chart and explain that, yes, it is computer science related. Uh, it's also demon summoning related, but it really it's just a different branch of programming if you think about it. So really just a skill issue on your part because, you know, it's transferable skills. Just think of it that way. Uh, you work on one platform. You need some skills. You work on another platform. You bring skills from the other platforms with you. And so as a result of this, just keep in mind that if you're trying to say that some of my videos are not computer science related, I am happy to prove you wrong. Uh, but in this particular instance, you know, there are there are some big differences. Uh, you know, having to deal with child processes is a very different matter when it comes to demon summoning uh, than it is to programming. Uh, but to be honest, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, you're, you're, you're taking a, a task or process and you're uh, limiting its usage of CPU cycles in the world uh, you know, and reducing its energy expenditure. So honestly, I mean, from a, from a task and uh, process list perspective, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, the big issue here too, of course, is that, you know, you still have to know a language that most people don't understand. Uh, most of mankind is not going to speak C or C sharp or Java or whatever. Uh, no, they're not going to need to know ancient Babylonian or any of the other languages for, for demon summoning either, but they're basically in the same camp. Uh, you know, and, you know, you got to be exact, uh, no matter which platform you're working on, whether it's, you know, computer software or demon summoning, uh, you have to be exact or you're going to suffer the consequences either way. Uh, just generally a lot of cursing and swearing of oaths and things. I've seen a lot of people do that on the job. I think that's also in common. These are transferable skill sets. I believe they that also uh, shares in common with uh, being a boat captain because I, I happen to have an uncle who is a boat captain, and he says that that is a valuable skill set to have in that job. So I feel like you know if you're going into maritime stuff, then you know this is programming is a good good skill set to have just because you're going to pick up that extra those extra skills. Uh, just, you know, the understanding the true power you will, the consequences of your actions. I'm not quite so sure about this. I mean, billions of people use my code every day and they're fine. So it should be fine. Uh, I don't know. I haven't heard about any problems with, with some of the code I wrote for office or any of the other stuff yet, but, but I will say that in general, it probably works because the companies are still, still existing. So there, there you go. Uh, you know, the, the, we've already gone over the child process stuff. Candles, though. I mean, I do burn candles. And so one of the things you got to understand is that once you get to a certain part of your software development career, the candles are going to be more valuable. It's going to be a very helpful tool for meditative practices and everything else and helping you track time. Uh, and because you're going to get you're going to lose track of times at times. Uh, but you know, the demon summoning stuff, I mean, it's good for that too. So it is a transferable skill set. Just keep that in mind.